All right. Well, uh, my week was exciting. We got to play uh, What's Inside Hey Jay. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you guys know, but I, I went to, uh, I, I got to experience uh, endoscopy over the week. Have you guys ever experienced that? No. It's when they shove a tube down your throat and they go check out your stomach. I'm aware of what it is. Okay. So That's fun- one of my kinks. <laughs> Funny story. Uh, first nurse, they try to put... Um, the IV so that they can like knock me out. And she's like, I swear it's in your vein, but there's no blood coming out. I'm just like, well, that, that sounds concerning. And this other nurse is like, get out of the way. Let me at him. And I'm just like, Oh God, she doesn't look like she's going to mess around. Takes my hand, beats it like five, six times on the top of the hand, like where all the nerves and the sensitive sensitivity are. I'm like, damn, that hurts. And then like, I don't like needles. So I'm not looking, I'm just feeling her going like, pow, 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 pow. straps oh, like an that. elastic around my arm where I can't like feel it. I'm like, I can't feel my arm. She's like, good, it's working. And then she like shoves the needle in and I can feel blood like spilling down my hand. She's like, oh, I think I overdid it. I'm like, what? And she's like, goes back and is like wiping on the floor and off the bed. Apparently there was blood everywhere. I wasn't looking. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just like, oh my Dude, God. I- I can I can stomach a lot of things, but if I looked out of my own arm and saw blood, I swear to God I would immediately pass out. So I don't know what I would do, and I didn't want to find out. So we're like, we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna stare forward. Um. So, uh, anyways, uh, that was that was kind of the the craziest part. And then I learned I think I'm sensitive to anesthetic because I was watching other people wake up, and like this one lady, she's like, oh, like peppy, jumpy, gets out of bed, leaves. I don't even remember talking to the doctor after. And, uh, so my ride comes and they come with a wheelchair and the nurses are like, he doesn't need a wheelchair. He's fine. I stand up and I'm all like, Ooh. like, no, no, I need the wheelchair. Please wheel me out of here. Get back home, pass out again for like five hours. And it took me a whole like Damn. extra day to recover. Um, but, uh, yeah, their bedside manner. I like she cut the first nurse comes with a butt, like a pack of needles. Like, all right, let's get him done. I was, I was like, okay. So I waited to see if she was going to say more. She starts unpacking. I'm like, what, what are we doing here? Like, uh, what's happening? She's like, we're doing IV. And I'm just like, what does that mean? Am I being like tubed or I something? Do not, like, I do not know what any of this means. Because I don't go to hospitals. I don't, I've never been in hospitals. And yeah, I just, I don't know procedures and stuff. I know nothing about health science. Uh, and anyway, so uh, I lost consciousness just as they were like shoving something in my mouth. And then I woke up with a th- sore throat. So <laughs> who Fuck. knows what happened there? I once when I they had to put me under when I got my wisdom teeth out. How old were you? I was 17. And um, like I had to go back like two days later so they could check everything. And when I went in there, like. I walked up to the desk and the lady was like, oh, it's you. And I was like, excuse oh, me? Wow. And she was like, just have a seat. And I was like, oh, okay. Geez. And so like everyone was a fucking cunt to me the entire time <laughs> that I was there. And so like they did my check. They're like, all right, you're fine. Uh, don't ever come back. Essentially. What? what? what and I was like, that? what the fuck? So I went home. And I was like, ma, because my mom was there with me. I was like, what the fuck happened? Did something happen there? And she was like, well, there was an incident. I was like, what? And she was like, you you thought you were at a party. Oh, and I was no. like, what? And she was like, yeah, you started rapping and uh, <laughs> oh. flirting with all the nurses. And then you tried to take your pants off. Oh, and like, no. Oh. And the funny thing was my dad had gone there to have something done like six months prior and my mom was sitting in the waiting room and she just heard someone like screaming and like stuff flying all over the place. And like, I guess he was freaking out or something like while he was under, like trying to come out of it and stuff. So yeah, we didn't, we didn't go back there anymore. Well, there's no monetization (laughs) of what freaking out and taking your pants off. I mean, you yeah, do that like, consciously. So what do you... <laughs> well, like in my dreams, like I always realize that it's like, oh, it's a dream. I can do whatever I want. I can run as fast as I want. I can punch this person in the face, grab a boob or 10. I don't know. <laughs> or 10. But I'm... <laughs> That's the range. <laughs> One or 10. <laughs> but like, I feel like if I was like put under like that, I would probably think it was a dream or something. But doesn't it knock you out? Like what did they, what they gas you with? Was it gas I, yeah, or was it needle? Well, yeah, I mean, they it does knock you out, but if you're someone who gets knocked out a lot because you drank a lot, so oh, you blacked man. out or shit, you know. Oh, we have actual questions. Okay. 
Uh, when is the next group eats video? Looking for that replacement for Hey J Eats. Excuse me. Next what? Groups Eats? Yeah, I guess that's a new idea to put on your palate. 